So what do you rate your looks? Unfortunately, Stifler, when we uh, cut the previous stream, we lost him. What do you rate your looks on a scale of one to 10? Me? Yeah, starting with you, go ahead. And it depends if I'm wearing a wig or not. It depends <laughs> if I'm wearing a wig or not, but I'm a- A, a what? A wig, wig or not. This is a wig. Um, so you're eight. eight without the wig, 10 with the wig? No, eight and, eight, eight and a half. Either way. Naturally, I think I'm more beautiful. So but you're I'm, more, I, I'm within the eight line. Yeah, of course, of course. Then why did you wear the wig? Because it is very human here, and it, if you're a girl, hair that's attached to your head poofs up, and hair that is on a wig and is dead stays. But wouldn't you be more naturally Whoa. beautiful that way? Hold uh, on, let's just get no, through the segment. Go ahead. So Thank we're just that. talking like one to ten. We wake up in the morning, and what do we think we are? It With looks. nothing. Like in general. Can't say seven. Eight. I don't know. Okay. Nine. Seven. Eight. Six. Eight. Eight. Give myself a five. <laughs> Why? Andrew. What about you, Andrew? Uh, well, I mean, if, if the comparison here is all these eights, then I'm going to give myself an 11. <laughs> I like it. I like your style. There you go. The most I like, unbelievably I like the delusional yeah, shit that I've me. ever heard. Uh, First what, of all, there's the not even a woman thing? here who's an eight. I'm just oh. going to be honest with you. Not even oh. one who's an eight. Oh, sorry, Maddie. Not a one. And the thing is, is a lot of you are likable. Maybe perhaps not the blonde, but many of you are very likable people. But how delusional can you be? You're not eights. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Wow. I, saw, I, saw, I saw a video, for instance. Wait, what? We what just saw a video of the chatty of the chatty Kathy here. I said I was a seven. I never she said She didn't I was even an look eight. in that video. She didn't even look nearly like what she looks like in studio right now. I mean, you guys could all see it. In what world do you live in where you think you're eights? We got what good life. Can I, can I say something? I never... I, yeah, go ahead. I have this conversation with my friends all the time. To some people, I'm an eight. To some people, I'm a three. Like, it is what it is. Like, but personally, I, I, I'm going to lean more towards the ten side because oh. I want... No, like, I'm saying oh. eight because lean if I'm, if I'm a three, ten. then why, where's my my confidence at? How am I going to walk into a room? All How right, am I going well, to project my conversation? Let me ask this question a different way. Okay. Let me ask it a different way. In my opinion, Scarlett Johansson in her prime is mm. an eight. No, she a ten. Oh, okay. If we go around oh, the table again, from Scarlett Johansson in her prime is being an eight, do any of your answers change? Yeah, and that's this. I mean, we all have different scales. I think that's what happens too. Where I'm not thinking of Scarlett She's Johansson. I'm thinking about yeah. Her. So what would you be if Scarlett Johansson in her prime is an eight? What are you? A solid three. A solid three. <laughs> a solid three. So. Why? But, but is, here, is but here Johan in this room, if we're going to do this here, what I would say eight. Uh, I mean, this is an example of toxic masculinity. Why, Why? are we comparing? Yeah, it doesn't make no, sense. It's, a, it's, 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 it's being in touch with reality. Toxic, I don't understand. Toxic in what way? Where you it's just reality. No like some people. objective standard for things which are clearly objective and you're competing for. Well, if you I, weren't it's competing reality. for it, it then why is it that you that you would answer to the scale in the first place? Well, I, I well, still think that. I think mean, we were just trying to comply. <laughs> What's your favorite <laughs> color? No, yeah, I was yeah you were trying. You wait. You were trying to comply with what? What you consider a male standard for beauty? Fair well, enough. True. I'll even for concede my own that it could be a male standard of but beauty. But I think we all so answered what we thought of ourselves. So if it's a male standard of beauty and Scarlett Johansson's an eight, can you tell me what that makes you? Well, I'm going best off of what my boyfriend tells me. He be gasping me not you, so not he can be you, lying. But time. you know what? I'm gonna go based to the, off to that. The, to the to the blonde. What was your question? If Scarlett Johansson was an eight in her prime, what are you? I'd say I'm an eight too. <laughs> yeah. So you look like just Scarlett Johansson in her prime. I think I'm a very beautiful woman. I think she's a very beautiful woman. I I don't see that there's a discrepancy there. We all have our moments of rolling out of bed, and we all have a glam up look. So I just yeah. want to make sure that if we were to put you. And Scarlett Johansson in her prime, in front of every man inside of the world that you think that they would consider you and Scarlett Johansson on par with each other. I do, because different men have different flavors. So maybe half of them would like her better and half of them would like better. I can see that too, like but the reality I is mean, if we have two I flowers. I fetish place and some of them don't look at my boobs whatsoever. Uh -huh. Their eyes go straight right. down to my feet. Okay, that's true. But if, <laughs> we're, if, we're, so, if we're looking, okay. if we're looking at two, <laughs> if we're looking at two flowers and one flower is 
has like dents in it it has like leaves removed and it's still beautiful it's a flower but if you're looking at a, a rose that is just like in its prime we're gonna be like oh, i'm gonna choose this one to give to my mom because in reality no, hey, is- you know what you're totally right uh me and hugo jackson in his prime we're exactly the same we look exactly i'm you know what if he's a 10 as a man i'm also a 10 as a man then. I guess we'll just what? do it that way. I'll be as delusional as you guys are. I don't think I'm delusional in any sense. Best looking men on planet Earth. I'm on par with him because I really feel oh, like they should be. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay. So is your wife, what is your wife on a scale of one to 10? Uh, what is your husband on a scale of one to 10? I don't have a husband. Hey, what is your boyfriend? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure you think that your wife she is the most beautiful like, a 10. in the world. He's a 10. No. He's actually I still have a, listen. Wait, hold on. You, think you that answer I can't me. Hold on. Answer me first. Uh, so, like, lover. for instance, let us assume for a second that we were to rewind for, uh, 20 years. Uh-huh. And I were to go 20 years ago uh, when my wife was in her 20s instead. And you were to say, can I have the same woman just in the 20-year-old body versus the 40-some-year-old body? Uh, I would say, sure. What would actually be problematic with that? No, okay, I'm just glad you said that. Okay, then no, we can no, talk. No, 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 no. Answer my question. No. What would be problematic mm-hmm. with that? I would say it's not problematic, but it would right. probably hurt your 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 wife's feelings, no, but it's not reality. Only would it not hurt her feelings, but why do you think she keeps her ass in shape? She keeps her ass in shape oh, 100%. because she wants I'm, to look the best that she possibly can right, for her but age. But she's right? going to <laughs> age regardless you. though because she wants to maintain her relationship. Because she wants to Hold look on. I'm a sorry. Good go mom, ahead. a good wife, a good partner, yes. like that's why she gets so but but okay but so you're saying that age is going to change the number that you give your wife and that's okay if it does i'm just trying to understand where you're coming yeah, from of course, i mean does. well of course i think that beauty standards are at least reasonably objective yeah okay and i, I agree think with that you. my wife yeah, would be the first you. one to tell you that okay. she knows that that's true and so the thing is is that while it may be true that she thinks i'm better looking than she is or i think she's better looking than i am it doesn't mean that I think that she's the same or equal in beauty standards to Scarlett Johansson in her prime. Yeah, I'm not delusional. But yeah, but if so what would you compare, give her? What would you rate her? If we're her? doing They're comparisons, that's a completely different because conversation. So... Wait, hold on one second. Hold on. If we're doing comparisons with other like 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 celeb- female celebrities like Angelina Jolie, that's different. I honestly think that I am an eight. I'm not ugly. I, my body's tight. I work Based out. Based on what? I, what do you mean? Based on my like my body and everything. Like the I'm average woman in America for like if compared I to think, the average woman. I think I am an eight. I'm not being delusional. I think I'm you're not, a I'm ten. Not ugly I think you're a makeup. ten. I, I think listen, we all I understand. Our I thoughts. understand the like, assertion. I don't think I'm hitting. I'm just going to ask you. Always what are the things that make you an eight? I think that because I don't have like fake lips. I well the only thing that's fake on me is like my nails but my makeup looks nice I look na- nice when I'm natural lashes. my lashes mm-hmm. I work out a lot so I keep my body nice and fit like I'm health your conscious your hair is okay. beautiful your hey, skin you know what beautiful. that's totally fair so now let me ask you this since you're going off of kind of this objective standard I think that you're trying to move towards something which is objective is there any woman in this room who's prettier than you what my honest opinion yeah no no and now let me ask let me ask back to the blonde is she prettier than you i i do believe she has a ex, more of an exotic beauty that i think then why is aren't more you shiny. a nine got what? him wait why am i not a nine what well, she's yeah an eight. she's prettier than you then she you... rated herself an eight how come you're not a nine i said no i said she's prettier than me i right. know she rated herself an eight you rated yourself an eight well, how I come went you're first. not a nine i went for why am i not a nine or she's not a nine how come she's not a nine and you're an eight but i thought it was just our own personal how we think yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a little messy I wasn't you can't really i wasn't comparing. i see what you're doing but it doesn't yeah. really like, work if you cause... compare me to megan good obviously megan good no no it does it does really work and let me no because she went first yeah i went first so i wasn't comparing she thinks she's the prettiest woman in the room and yet all of you rate yourself the same way that she rates herself so yeah she should have gone all of you aren't all of you essentially saying that you believe that you're on par with her no I, we weren't comparing no. each other mm-hmm. to Not each other we were ourselves. just looking at from i was no. i was yeah. looking at it myself compared to the average woman in america that's honestly what i did the average woman i think we in all america. had different scales that's the problem at myself compared to myself Yo, I was okay just so <laughs> yeah. exactly would i date <laughs> myself or would i not i would not date myself because i'm not lesbian i'm doing 
I've never I, met I don't really care about the average. In, in, in yeah, real life, and okay, said, so now let's try a, just a quick social experiment. Hang on, let's just try a quick social experiment. We know that uh, this gal, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name in the yellow top. Oh, uh, Kishwan. Uh, what's that? Kishwan. Okay, so since uh, I'm just going to call you Kay because that's, that's a really fine. long name. So, so since Kay says she's the prettiest girl in the room, will anybody raise their hand and say they're prettier than Kay? I you're prettier you're than K. And you're prettier than K. No. Okay. So is K is K delusional? Am I as, I feel like I'm equal. Am, am I <laughs> equal? Yeah, as and can I say that I'm a ten or eleven or twelve or a hundred? And yeah. there's yeah, such different prettier looks than K. Here. I mean we know we all can look at all the mm -hmm. same. Why but are we, it's why the, are we compare? But the you thing is why are we compare? We can have one man stand in the room and think that she's prettier but then we have another man mm -hmm. can be mm -hmm. like no i'm pr that i'm prettier mm -hmm. i mean no, it's just it's just a matter of the guys it's like like a matter of taste exactly. or taste or hang on, hang on. we got it let's let's try this one at a time so the two gals raise their hand first in the center right the pen the pentecostal. pentecostal what makes you prettier what makes you prettier than Kay? i just i feel like i'm a prettier latina vibe but it, that's just i don't know I, I'm going based what off my things, standard uh, of beauty. Objectively, what are the things that you think make you prettier than Kay? Like, honestly. I don't know. Um, okay, the, no, I mean, I'm, I'm going based off what I like say, about myself. Okay, I like my maybe, hair. Uh, my hair. You know, that dude has a, a more, he maybe has a more muscular body, or uh, maybe has better facial features, or maybe he has this or that, because I'm not delusional, right? So what are the yeah. things, objectively, that make you prettier than Kay? Um, well, I, I personally like my hair. Mm -hmm. Um... My smile. Um, no. I would say my boobs, but no, that's kind of like superficial. <laughs> Actually, you have a nice smile too, sis. I don't know. We're both bombs. I think we're just beautiful. Here's, 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 we're well, just we can't here's kind compare. of the distinction, right? It's is like, so wait, what? What is there? What is there to even be offended about? If you objectively believe that there's a standard that most men, hang on, that most men would adhere to, not every man, just most. Then what are those objective things that make you prettier than Kay? Mm -hmm. You can say whatever. I don't care. No, I know. I think okay. So if we're talking about like biologically, I, isn't it like the whole symmetrical thing like a thing like with the face? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I okay, think that that so, would be I mean, a good objective like starting point. I mean, but. she does have it too, though. I feel like we just both got it going on. I don't know. <laughs> I I I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. How about you tell us? Well, Since you're you the man, the that, <laughs> hang on, hang on. You raised your hand. And okay, said that you I told you my hair. I have like the la, the smile, Latina vibe. Um, I like my nails. Um, I mean, she is more fit than me, uh, but I don't know. I just think that it's also a part of it that I have to. Na I naturally want to, I guess, be delusional and tell myself I am prettier, and not in like a degrading way. But it's just the way I carry myself. I I want to be confident. I am confident, so I just walk in to the room. He seems like, pretty confident. Yeah, I mean, again, but at the at the end of the day, we can I have. I mean, she was so confident. She said she was prettier than all of you. And and that <laughs> I mean, maybe that's pretty confident. This right? is like the <laughs> only thing where I'm like, this is kind of like the only thing where I'm like, there might be like some my truth because at the end of the day, there's gonna be two men that will think differently. Like, there's gonna be someone that really yeah, yeah, thinks yeah, yeah. she's. No, no, no. But but remember okay. the heart of this. We're just asking this. If you had most men, I'm not saying that if you didn't have two men, they wouldn't objectively maybe have a different standard. I would agree. Okay. Yeah. I'm asking if you took most men, most. So we're just looking for, you know, let's say we took 51% of all men and we were able to pull them and we put the two of you side by side. Mm -hmm. Right. And just most of them thought that you were prettier what would those reasons be? I just told you. Like, I guess my my hair, my smile. Your hair? I guess uh, my my eyes. I don't know. I'm just thinking of things Your that my boyfriend really has, has told me oh, or, like, compliments body. me. Thank you. Your yes. overall figure, you know. Mm -hmm. your okay, my here. overall figure. Back, yeah, I mean, there's okay, just so different. back to K. So then, hang on, yes. back to K. Mm -hmm. What makes you prettier? Um, I'm physically fit. That's literally. Oh, and my lips are big, but they're natural. Like I have. See, now eyes. that's like. I think that those are some good responses, right? Yeah. Here are the actual things that I think that make me objectively, where most men would look at the two of us and think I'm prettier. That seems reasonable. I'm super fit. I have better lips. I have this. I. Have, 
So, like, that seems reasonable to me. I think that that's how men would make the judgment across the board. So then back to you. Wait, you're saying that what I said wasn't reasonable? Just I'm I'm getting it right. Yeah, because you were saying things like um, you were kind of adding these other values like confidence, things like that. No, no, I'm saying that. purely on beauty here. I'm not, I didn't, I didn't mean, say that my confidence is what makes me prettier. What I'm saying is I'm naturally thinking I am prettier because it helps with my confidence wherever I go, whatever, whenever. Yeah, I get it. But what would the objective standard I for why you think you, most of those men My would long think you were hair, prettier? my Your smile, hair. my eyes and my nails, my okay. fashion. I don't know. Okay. I could go on, but, yeah, well, but again, be... I could still look at her and be like, dude, she's just as bomb yeah, but in my head i gotta I'm, listen listen i'm not saying you couldn't look at her and say she's a knockout or whatever that's not really what the question is implying yeah so then over to red uh red can i ask you what are these things that if you took the large swath of men and they had you and they had k in the same room and they were just asked the question to objectively evaluate the beauty standard of which they prefer what are the things about you they think they would prefer over k well, it would, be, it would depend on their beauty standards, first Yeah, of I know. All. We're just saying that most of <laughs> well, them somehow smart. prefer you over Kate. But, what would those uh, things I be? I think that I look good as a blonde. I look good as a brunette. I can change like an iguana. I'm wearing blue <laughs> eyes today. I look good in brown eyes. I look good in blue eyes. I can change my clothes and wear a trash bag, and I look good in that, and I can wear Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Let's, let me back up. Let me back up. So I we can. have a room with... 500 men so and no 400 of them hang on and 400 of those men when they look at you next to k they go i prefer her not they don't care about your personality because they don't know anything they no, know no, nothing the, about you they're only I'm judging physically hang Sorry. on <laughs> what are the things about you physically that they prefer my breasts are natural double d's um i have a thin waist, a pretty little belly button ring, I have nice lips and big brown eyes, and I'm Sicilian, Aww. and I have a little butt that I work hard on at the gym for, but I don't look like her, but I try as hard as I can. I love you. This is why, so oh, I, love like, I love her. She's so this is why sweet. we consider the question when most of the people <laughs> answer it, most of the gals answer it to be cope, right? When they when they all rate themselves the same. Because when I get to the heart of it, I realize, wait a second, they don't really fucking rate themselves the same. What happens is they have kind of group think where you don't want to offend yeah. the girl next it's true. to you. It but is objective true. hang on, hang on, hang on, let me finish. But objectively when I start actually parsing it out and I go, but if men did prefer you, why would it be? Versus why they prefer you and are you the prettiest girl in the room? I hear wildly different answers, which tells me you're not really delusional. You do know what your standard appeal is, but, but you're fucking lying about it because you don't want to make no, anybody uncomfortable. Because everybody <laughs> has a different standard. When some, one guy can walk in the room and say, I'm hideous. It's like you could love peaches, but there's always going to be one guy that doesn't like peaches. I agree. Yeah, so, so hang on, I agree. It's but true. let's assume for a second that we drug, we drug a meth head in who had no teeth, pock marks all over her face, and a hunched back. Do you think you're prettier than her objectively? I'm 100,000, 10% better. Yeah, 100,000, 10%. So there but has to be some objective. Like hang on. So there has to be None some objective standard like between that. meth head, crack head, hump on her back, pock marks on her face, and you. And what we're looking for is what those things are between you and all of the other women comparing yourself to no teeth, hunchback, pockmarked, fucking crackhead, right? That's the point of the question. And you're looking for biological beautiful. health markers and good and genetics. I, That's what you're looking sure. for. Sure. I, I don't so even it's disagree. Symmetry, you could say biological it's facial health symmetry. Markers. It's clarity in the eyes. It's clear skin. It's for a woman, it's a particular waist to hip ratio, which is. Point zero and I think there's always point seven. So if you're looking at all those so things objectively, her. then why do you all have similar answers, even though you look nothing the because fuck alike? Because there's always room to improve. There's all all right. There's only so many it just body seems, parts. It just seems delusional to me. Just well, saying. you are you, you, you uh, didn't ask anyone ever perfect. And I think be, I think because we are looking at it from the relational perspective, not like we're walking across the stage and just getting a number rating. We're thinking to ourselves. The men that are in our lives that are coming and speaking to us. That's For example, I hear all yeah. day, every day, 
you're a 10, you're a 12. How do I get with you? Yeah, blah, they blah, want blah. to sleep with you. They, yeah, yeah, they exactly. want to have sex with you. Exactly. You they want to have now, sex with you. A woman will tell, or a man will tell Kay, I, want to, I think you're the most beautiful woman in this same sentence as saying you are, even if he has an objectively different true. opinion because right, he wants right, to fuck exactly, you both. Exactly. Like, Which is, not, not. I mean, she knows. Look at her. She's like, yeah. I mean, that's just true, right? It, it is true. It is I true. Would. It is true. And so that's the thing of why we can't really even go off of that stuff. We just have to go off of... Uh, well, it seems like when I press you guys, what do you suddenly, think you are? suddenly what are your you? standards drastically change and you're like, I do objectively have these metrics. I do objectively know what's true. I do objectively think I'm more fit. It's just because there's more to boobs. it. There's I more have to bigger the story. brown eyes. I have these other attractive qualities I think men would like. But when asked in a general average, you guys go, well, we're all about the same. When clearly you all know that you're not. This and that's, so why we think on our end, that's why we think on our end, that's why we think on our end, I just don't think we like to be competitive I mean, with each other. Yeah, it's just Wait, ugly so what are to, you? to be doing that. It's weird. I'm a whore. 